Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at the SA4B, which is the TK11 Krug. Um, this is a very unique system as far as this program. Uh, the reason being is this particular one is designed for level defense. It's basically like a portable medium to high altitude attack platform. And it's mostly portable, but um, we'll kind of take a look. So uh, take a look at the controls. This is a little different because basically there's one guy sitting in this seat and another guy sitting in this seat. And then if you have divisional control, there's a guy sitting in this seat. So this system was designed so that anybody at any time could basically do everything virtually auto um, autonomously. So to get us going, what we're going to do is click this button right here. What that does is that turns on the gas turbine to start getting electricity. As soon as you do that, you're going to go ahead and engage the generator. You're going to go ahead and unlock your antennas. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to go ahead and push this button to activate the wireless link control. Leave this switch out and you're going to find it very difficult to acquire targets. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and up here, I'm going to go ahead as usual and turn my antennas on. Keep in mind that just because antennas are on, it doesn't mean they're transmitting. Then last but not least, I'm going to come down here and press this button which allows me to target. Selecting targets are kind of cool in this program because you, know, you get this little wheel and you rotate it really quick by hand. And you can kind of flip it over to go ahead and acquire the target you need to do and all those kind of things. That's not bad. We'll go ahead and acquire our um, second target that way. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and press the switch here to go ahead and arm my missiles. I'm going to come down here and click us over to uh, BR mode. Of, that would be VR mode. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a missile. Okay, so now our missiles are warming up. Our radar is still disengaged. So how do we get a target? Standard method, which is actually the method I really like. You just come over here and you press C. You go ahead and find the target you're interested in. You right click on it like that. Scoot over here and watch this. I right click and it guides my radar automatically to that target. So now all you have to do is come over here, energize the radar with that button, and there's our target. Like that. To uh, start automatically tracking that target, you have to center the target, press this button here. Then you come over here and use the range gate to lock the little positive spike here between the Bots, activate automatic targeting, check if we're in range, and then go ahead and fire. That's it. That's pretty cool. And um, again, this is a really, really neat system. You can definitely tell it's a slightly more modern system. Quickly, everything can. Well, let's go ahead and watch them on its way, shall we? Um, there's a couple other fun tricks with the system, and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. On its way. Little positive spike, by the way, or negative spike, I should say, is our missile. Positive spike is the target. This is again zero range. This is... Second, now you're going to see it come riding on in. Boop! That target destroyed. That's pretty impressive. Now, there's a couple other really fun things that this does. One of my favorites is the button down here. Uh, what you can actually do is you press a button that causes the radar to only turn itself on from time to time. So right now the radar's on, the radar's off. And that's kind of a neat way to not have to manage that, which I think is actually pretty cool. There's also another method by pressing this button where you can actually tell the radar to shut itself off. And this little dial up here will actually tell you how close the estimated position is to the physical actual, which is pretty cool. So uh, take a look at our radar right now. You can see we've still got that jamming target. We'll deal with that in just so what do we do now? We're going to go ahead and uh, center this guy out. And we're going to go ahead and flip this to the up position. It says, I would like a new target, please. Then I'm going to come down here and do a quick full set. And now I am ready to go. Oh, my radar still on? Yes, it was. That was sloppy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, move my... Uh, whoop, you're on a mode that you can actually... everything. That is set. That is set. We are not on... Ah, it helps if you grab the correct wheel. All right, let's go ahead and spin ourselves around and see if we can find that up north. Antenna is on. I just... Oh! Saw it. There he is. Oh, there he is. Ah, that looks familiar. Ah! So... How do you attack a jamming target with this guy? That's a little bit more involved. First thing we want to do is do angle tracking. Whoa! <laughs> a 
<laughs> okay. Uh, as you can see, um, yeah, good luck getting this range. And then all we're going to do is we're going to select the missile we want, make sure our radar is set to uh, TT mode, this lead mode, this mode. Then um, we can actually specify by hitting the switch here, annual range of the guy. But um, let's go ahead and take a look. Right. Or we try to plug this. Yep. Okay. We're estimated position is there. I'm pretty sure we're not going to hit him, but we're going to try anyway. Let it rip. And off the missile goes. There's our negative spike. Remember, when you're in three point guidance mode, the missile's just aiming at the center of the noise. So I'm um, also, my transmitter is off at the moment. I think it's kind of handy, if you ask me. So our hope is that this noise is going to suddenly go away. But uh, you'll see uh, PA, by the way, in case you're curious. Let's see what happens there. Okay. Oh, the jamming went away. Hey, we got him. So that's it. So um, the SA-4, again, very sophisticated system. Very, very easy. Um, except for the startup process, which I think is a little involved. Let's go ahead and try it against a target that is See if it's truly as good as it is. So uh, taking a look here, my miss distance for the first target was zero. Miss distance for the second target was also zero. That's the advantage to having a missile that travels at that speed. Let's get over our old friend, Mr. B-52. I'm sure he's tired of getting shot at, but too bad. Whoop, I actually don't want him to. So uh, let's actually exit. I can't hit him if he's jamming. It's just a little bit more involved. That's all. Do so, uh, not jamming. Six missiles. That's all we get. Again. All right, here we go. All right, we're in business. Let's go find that B-50. There he is. Lock onto him with the radar. I'm gonna go ahead and request him. Radar is now spinning itself around auto magically, trying to lock on to that pesky. Might be out of range at this point. Try anyway. Radar energized. There's our target. Automatic angle tracking mode on. Go ahead and try to lock him up with the range gate. Range gate automatic tracking on is in range. Nope. So this dot here represents where he's going to be engaged. This dot right here represents where he is. Let's go ahead and flip it on intermittent radar emission mode. So we're a little bit teeny tiny bit stealthier with this guy. Actually, almost in range. That dashed line, by the way, represents DLZ. That's the best time to engage the target. Again, the radar is turning itself off every time you see that little green light appear above it. Ideally, we probably shouldn't be radar out this far anyway. So we can go ahead and use that other setting. Whoop, wrong button. We're going to leave it on that mode. Almost in range. We're going to fire missile number one at him. Time from central. Almost there. Oh, he's moving. Must be turning a little bit. Yeah, he's turning just. Silly. I'm gonna make sure he's trapped with that center circle before we fire. Otherwise, he can literally just turn around and fly away from the missile as it comes in. Go. So away. go. Time for you a little bit. Go. Coming in and bloop. Yep, we got him. How do we know we got him? Because he's falling out of the sky. All right, so that is it for the SA-4. Um, definitely one of the neat systems as far as you playing. But um, it's a little bit more work, and I like how you can see how many times it flips on up. I like how autonomous the whole 
actually pretty fast and it's definitely enjoy.